Okay, here, a traffic light turns green. Example number 1.7, a traffic light turns green and the driver of a high-performance car slams the accelerator to the floor. The accelerometer registers 22 meters per second squared. Convert this reading to kilometers per minute squared. Take note that this is a unit of acceleration, unit of distance, and then unit of time being squared. So first things first, we'll just have to copy the values, 22 meters per second squared is equal to 22 meters per second squared. And then we're going to multiply an important unit conversion here. Again, I repeat, reminders, if you are trying to convert distance, well then, the content for ang sulod aning a parenthesis is only distance. Okay, so we'll convert one at a time. So I'm going to convert first meters to kilometers. So here, in order to cancel out the meters, na naasa numerator, we're going to write here meters in the denominator. And then the desired unit in kilometers, right? So in one kilometer, there's 1,000 meters. Okay, and then you could able to cancel out this one. And then leave it behind that kilometer there. Next, we're going to convert second squared to minute squared. So take note that in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So second squared is in the denominator. So I'm going to write seconds here, right? Do not write second squared. Seconds now. And then the minute here in the denominator. Okay? In one minute, there are 60 seconds. But then you're not yet done. Only one second can be canceled out here. So all you have to do is to square the entire parenthesis. Okay? So you'll have... You can now cancel out this second squared here and even the second here. So don't forget to distribute the square to each of the values inside the parenthesis. So the final answer here is 79.2 kilometers per minute squared. Okay, again, your 22 meters per second squared is equivalent to 72 kilometers per minute squared. Okay, here, example number 1.8. The density of a lead material is 11.3 gram per cubic centimeter. What is the value in kilograms per cubic meter? So again, this is a unit of a density volume, a mass per unit volume or mass over volume. So we'll have to convert this 11.3 gram per cubic centimeter to kilogram per cubic meter. So we'll have, again, to copy this one, gram per cubic centimeter. Okay, so again, this is a unit of mass and this is a unit of volume. So one at a time, again, I repeat, one at a time. So here, I'm going to convert grams to kilograms first. So here, since grams is in the numerator in order to cancel out this one, where I'm going to place it, here? No, that would be in the denominator. And then the desired unit in kilograms. Okay, in one kilogram, there's 1,000 grams. Kilo meaning to say times 10 to the 3, or 1,000. So I can now cancel out this grams here. So leave this behind. All we have to convert is the cubic centimeters to cubic meters. Okay, so we're going to place it here. Multiply another unit conversion. So cm is, c cubic cm is in the denominator. So in order to cancel out that one here. I'm going to write cm here in the numerator and the desired unit in meters. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. 
So don't forget, only one CM will be cancelled out here. So all you have to do is to cube the entire parenthesis. So I can now cancel out this one here. Okay, multiplying 11.3 divided by 1000 times 100 raised to the power of 3. And the answer would be 1.13 times 10 to the 4 kilograms per cubic meter. So your 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter is equivalent to 1.13 times 10 to the 4. Okay, that would be its final answer.